Hey guys, welcome back to Expos Tuesday. Today we're going to take a look at a module that gives us the ability to have Pi controls within Chrome. It's called Chrome Pi. Let's check it out. Today's module is called Chrome Pi. It's a module that enables us to access Chrome functionalities or Pi functionalities within our Chrome application. Go ahead and just download Chrome Pi, check the box, restart the device, version of 0.4.3. Once you have it installed, you restart your system, you're able to go in there and customize the different buttons. Um, I've already left everything kind of stock overall. For me, it works fine. The only thing I make sure here is that if I ever do play something with the settings, I make sure that it does fit in my screen. And then there's really only pretty much the donating option if you want to support the developer and hiding the icon from the launcher. As you notice here directly, I do have Pi navigation on my system, and that's one of the reasons why I like Chrome Pi. When I go in directly into Chrome, I don't have that functionality here other than basically just using the functionalities of going home. But now with Chrome Pi, I have the ability of going uh, different options. You know, every time you select something, you have the ability of going through. The back gives you the option to go reload, back, forward, go back, favorites, tabs. You can add incognito mode, directly new tab, close the current tab. Uh, you know, directly press the link so you can actually add just look it up and of course settings takes you into uh, desktop mode so you can go in and then make it sure that it loads in desktop mode other than that it's very functional it does load at the bottom it currently sometimes loads for me on the right but since I have regular Pi navigation there it doesn't really matter I have it on the left side I have it on the bottom it works very nice as you guys may know, I'm a big fan of Pi controls directly on my system. I've had them on my device for a long time. I just want to be able to use the entire part of my screen and still have all the functionality of a navigation bar just for using you know, Pi control. Chrome Pi does the exact same thing, but it gives us the ability to use that within Chrome. Now it's compatible with different versions, the Chrome developer version, and as far as I think no Chrono, I may be saying the wrong name there, but the developer lists three different browsers that it's compatible with and it works quite well. And it's not interacting or interf interfering with my Chrome Pi controls. So I have Chrome Pi on the right and I have, sorry, Chrome Pi on the left and then I have um, just regular Pi controls on the right. Those two work for me very, very well and I can actually use them anytime I'm using the system and it works really good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, any other module that you guys would like to check out. As you know, Android Marshmallow now support uh, Exposed. I'm working on a video for you guys on installation, getting it ready for you directly here for XDA. So check it out on that channel. But other than that, like and subscribe to this channel. Let me know what you guys think. And of course, at some point in the near future, we're going to be transitioning to um, Android M based modules and compatibility lists there. So as usual, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.